comes to getting interviews in real life, there are job fairs and tech talks. Uh, for both, you need a pitch. Uh, imagine you're going down an elevator with the CEO of the company and you have 40 seconds to convince them to hire you. The pitch is important because it's the quickest way to give them an idea of who you are, kind of like your resume. Uh, the good thing is you have time to prepare your pitch, so make sure you spend some time preparing. So what do you think recruiters look for in potential candidates? Um, biggest one is just like showing enthusiasm or leaving a strong impression on them. Like, so firm handshakes, uh, having like your intro down to the T and like not like stuttering or like taking time to be like, oh, uh, right, I'm a sophomore or something. <laughs> you want to like show confidence, uh, dis you talk about your skills as quickly as possible but in a concise manner, similar to how you should have your resume be as concise as possible. Since you only really get two sentences at most for your pitch, you want to say the relevant info. So. What year are you? What school are you? What major are you? Um, maybe talk about an important experience, internship, or project that you've done that you think would be relevant and cool for them to know. And then tell them about whether you're looking for full-time or internships. And then maybe even have some questions ready to show that you've researched the company ahead of time and that you're enthusiastic about what the company does, their mission, their culture. You should show them what skills you have. Uh, your favorite side projects and um, show them that you're excited to learn and interested in the company and what they do. Uh, companies look for people that know a lot but are also looking for people that love to learn and are excited. Uh, they want someone who can fit in their culture and no one wants someone that's like not motivated to do good work and learn a lot. They look for passionate people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my my pitch last year was Hi, Hi uh, I'm Jeffrey. I'm a third year computer science major at UCSD. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm most comfortable working in C++ and Android, yep. but I'm always willing to learn more. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see here on my resume, um, these are my projects and here are my experiences. Um, if there's anything that pops out to you, let me know and I'll elaborate on it. But if not, uh, I'll talk about my favorite project. Mm -hmm. And I think this pitch is good because it highlights some key things about you. It, I told them my name, uh, where I go to school, what major I am, what year I am, the skills I'm good at, but also how I'm very motivated to learn. Um, it also gives them the choice to choose what I talk about. Um, there might be something on your resume that really resonates with them that you'd like them to know more about. Or if nothing on the page sticks out, then you just want to talk about your favorite thing, not the internship that you didn't try that hard at. So Victor, uh, what was your pitch? Um, hi, I'm Victor. I'm a sophomore at UCSD studying computer science. Um, this past summer I interned at SAP, working on the internal tools team to develop internal tools for other employees and customers of SAP, and here's my resume. Mm -hmm. okay. So your resume was pretty short, but it just got straight to the point and yeah. highlighted what you did. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, so um, practice your pitch a few times so you, you're not too robotic. Uh, don't be like, hi, my, hi, I'm Jeffrey. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm, a third, I'm a third year computer science ma major. At, so you want it to be like very fluid and, um, and natural. I would say that recruiters look for uh, people that have the skills, uh, side projects, and uh, they are looking for people that are excited to learn and to do work. And what, what do you think? Side, what do you think recruiters are looking for? Um, all right, so that was part four point three, the pitch. Right now, you should have a good idea of what recruiters are looking for, what to put in your pitch and ultimately why the pitch is important. The pitch is the first impression you give to recruiters um, and that ultimately leads to the offer or ultimately leads to the interview and then the offer. So it's very important so try not to mess it up. Definitely practice a lot. Make sure it's natural, fluid, crisp. Um, in the video you heard my pitch and Victor's pitch. 
you can tell that there were some differences. His was a lot shorter than mine, just two to three sentences, and got straight to the point. Um, he told the recruiters what he did, or who he is, and what he did. Whereas for me, I sort of put more background into it. Uh, told them the skills I was comfortable with, um, I was open to learning more, and gave them a choice. Now, the reason behind the choice is I think that the purpose of the pitch is to leave a good impression on recruiters, which ultimately then leads to the interview. To put yourself in the best position to leave a good impression on the recruiter uh, is to talk about something that the recruiter, the recruiter cares about. Now, if you just charge in to your pitch and just say whatever you think is interesting, the recruiter might not find it as interesting as you saying, talking about something that they find interesting. But how do you know um, what they find interesting? Well, you just sort of help them help you, right? Uh, so you, by giving them the choice, if something really pops out to them, something that really resonates with them, they'll definitely like, oh, I see that you did this. Uh, worked on calendars that happened to me. Uh, talk more, talk more about that, and then uh, that'll definitely leave a better impression and make you more memorable. Um, and even during the conversation, they'll be more engaged, more interested, more focused, and they'll ask questions that actually that they that they actually care about. But if you're not in that position, you're not lucky enough, and everything on your resume looks the same to them, you still want to talk about something that means a lot to you so that you can show them that you're passionate about it. Um, if you just let them choose, they might be like, oh, why don't you talk about this? And you're like, oh, that, was, that was something I did like half a year ago. I don't really remember much about it. I don't know what to talk about. And then you're just making stuff, stuff, stuff up on the spot and be like, oh, Okay, I think uh, that's like a downward slope, not good. Um, so yeah, you want to be in a position where you're talking about something that you can, you can talk a lot about and be passionate and excited about. So um, by giving them that choice, you're like, okay, well, if there's nothing you like, then I'll talk about what I like. So um, in either scenario, that's like, the best, you're putting yourself in the best position to leave a good impression. So uh, that's the pitch, good luck. I know there's a lot and there's a lot to consider. Um, keep in mind that that's just my style. Uh, maybe Victor's style resonates with you more. And if that's the case, definitely go with his. Um, but it's like, it's good to know your options, right? To hear different perspectives, so at least you can consider different things and choose the best one. Um, in the next section, we're going to be talking about job fairs and tech talks. So aside from the pitch, there are also a lot of things specific to job fairs and specific to tech talks that uh, you should keep in mind and do so that you're putting yourself in the best position to get the interview. So I'll see you then in part 4.4. Uh, drivers and tech docs. Thanks.